good morning everyone. Um, I'll repeat my name again for those who don't know. My name is Steve Nichols. I'm a sheriff here in Logan County. Uh, heard this press conference is to review what we talked about yesterday and anything new that we might be doing today. Uh, of course, we're here to talk about the slaying of the five uh, members of the G family in Beeson, Illinois that occurred on the 21st of September. Uh, the Illinois State Police crime scene investigators are uh, still working the scene, still processing the scene. And along with the Illinois State Police investigators and uh, detectives from the Sheriff's Office and with assistance from the Lincoln Police Department, uh, we are continuing to investigate uh, this homicide. Hopefully I can provide you with some information today uh, and also get some input that maybe where the community uh, can help us out uh, in this investigation. What well, we are going to ask for is assistance in locating a vehicle that we'd like to find. Uh, around midnight on uh, the 21st, a gray primered Ford Ranger or S10 pickup, a smaller body pickup, uh, was seen in, in Beeson uh, around midnight or before that. The one distinct uh, mark on this vehicle is that it was a gray primer vehicle with chrome uh, exhaust pipes coming out of the, of the bed of the truck. Now most uh, pipes will come out toward the front of the truck, behind the cab. These pipes come out extended back in the bed of the truck. So this is going to give a little different view of that and, and we would like some assistance in locating that vehicle. If anybody has seen that, please call us at the 217-732-4159 number. We'll take any tip that anybody has. No tip is too small. If it'll help us uh, include this investigation, we want that information. I know we've talked about what people should do. People just need to take the normal precautions that you, that you would take, the practical measures of at night, lock your door, know where your children are at, and, and keep track of your neighbors. That, that's a good thing to do. Uh, another point uh, that I'll bring up is that at this point in time, the autopsies uh, were concluded last night. We're awaiting uh, the pathologist in order uh, to get that information and uh, review it. The one thing that we can rule out is that there were no gunshot victims in this incident. There was not a gun used. I'll take a few questions at this time, but I want you to remember there may be some questions I will not answer because it could jeopardize the integrity of the investigation. Why did please, you wait? Until, please, one at a time. Why did, so, why did you wait until yesterday morning at 11 to make a public statement if you're concerned about the public safety and this, this happened, this was discovered you know, 18 hours earlier? Well, it wasn't discovered 18 hours earlier. Basically, that night when we got into the investigation, we had a crime scene to protect. We had immediate leads to run down. And at that time, uh, the next day, I felt comfortable in, in, in making that statement. Sheriff, but you had dead bodies. You had dead bodies. If I may follow up. Sir, I'm going to take this question. Sheriff, sir, go ahead. Sheriff, you had been put into protective custody. Pardon me? Have other family members been put into protective custody? No. No. Uh, the other member, uh, the, the surviving uh, child that is in the hospital in Peoria, uh, we do have a deputy up there uh, and, and protecting that, but other family members have been there uh, to visit her. But other than that, nobody else has seen the child. Sir, to clarify about this vehicle, where was it seen? And are we talking Sunday night, Monday night? Sunday night, Monday morning. Uh, it was around midnight, so it would be on Sunday night, uh, the 20th. Uh, it was seen. It was seen in Beeson. Uh, a person that we interviewed did see the vehicle in Beeson, and it was a vehicle that they had not, uh, it was not familiar to them. Sheriff, is there any indication of threats or uh, any uh, problems between family members? Anything that might suggest that there was trouble brewing for this family? That's a question I'm not going to answer at this time. We're still investigating. Yes, what time did the murder take place? At this point in time, I don't have that information to give you. Can you tell us anything at all about the three-year-old that's in the hospital in Peoria? The only thing I can tell you is that the child is stable and, and being cared for properly. So. Who made the this wasn't a shooting. Are we talking about stabbing victims? That's a that's a question I can't answer at this time. Has Thank any you. That, but you said the one thing. I, the one thing I want to bring up: the next press conference will be tomorrow at four o'clock at this same location. 
Thank you. But you said there was a 911 call because of shots fired, Sheriff. 